What's going on everybody? I'm going to be bringing you a little more in-depth here on the Heritage Arms Barkeep. Now, first things first. Normally, I would be showing all the safety sallies that the gun is unloaded. But, actually, it's not loaded per se, but there still are shells in there. And if you look, you can see that they've all been fired. Now that is the whole point of this actual video. I took the uh, gun to the range, which I'll have video at the end of it, but I forgot the little popper tool, whatever this thing Extraction is called. Extraction tool. <laughs> Extraction tool, there you go. Uh, and of course the one time I don't bring a knife with me. So I tried using my nail to get it out. And as you can see, I couldn't. So, that right there is one of the biggest downfalls with this gun, is the fact that you have to have this little tool to get them out. Now I'm gonna see if I can use my knife to get underneath the rim, and I can. So you either need a tool, or you need a knife. Uh, let's see if you can watch. But, not that I would ever plan on using this in a, you know, defensive shooting situation where I would need more than six rounds. God help me if I did. But, so that's the cons. The pro on it is, as you'll be able to see in the video, there's no recoil whatsoever on it. Uh, the aiming is decent with it. Uh, it's stayed pretty much on target. I was shooting uh, only at five yards because with a snub nose two inch, you're not going to have much more accuracy beyond five yards. You want this up close and personal uh, to go from there just because you don't have the stability of a longer barrel. Uh, with the exception of this, it's a great, it's a great gun. Uh, very easy to shoot. You know, it's a single action, so you can't go wrong with it. It doesn't jam. You can shoot whatever you want to out of it. And uh, it's pretty good. So I would definitely recommend it to people. But always make sure that you have a knife with you. In case you forget the little extraction tool doohickey thing. So enjoy the uh, shooting and I will talk to you guys here later.